Part two. Seven seven seven. Enoch here coming back with another video. The reason you are targeted, targeted individuals, this is for you. Alright, so some more reasons would be your name. Stop and pay attention. Look at your name. Have people been telling you that you are a certain character from a book, a story? Well, you are in for a surprise. It's true. A lot of people have resurfaced for the final battle, spiritual battle that's going on now. So, your name has a major role in that. Genetics. Your family tree. Royal bloodline. I'm not talking about Queen Elizabeth and all of them. Those are reptilians. Whatever you want to call them. I'm talking about the real chosen bloodline. The Egyptians. That's you, if you are watching this, maybe. So, it's your genetics. They knew when you came into this world who you were. Your parents, they probably gang installed your parents. You know, so you want to look at their situation. If they ended up homeless or a fugitive, nowhere to go, you know, they struggling. They may have been a part of being gang stalked, a targeted individual. So a lot of gods and goddesses are here now. And the average person going to watch this and just think that I'm batshit crazy, but I know what I'm talking about. You just haven't went up in your consciousness yet, the fifth dimension. You're still stuck. In that third dimension. Believing in all that bullshit. With your religion. It's a lie. You believe you have to go to college. To be somebody. That's a lie. You are already someone. You just don't know that yet. A spiritual being. You have so many capabilities. Travel dimensions. When you go to sleep. You got superpowers. You possess magic. Fucking witches and wizards. But anyways, let's continue. Jealousy. They hate your guts. What you stand for. Pure light. Honesty. The truth. They don't like that. They want to get rid of you. Shut you up. For no reason. Just because they're dark. And you are an angel. Spiritual battle. Angels versus demons. Envy. They hated you for a very long time. You may have not noticed. But they gave you signs. All over. And you just thought it was a coincidence. But... You are awoke now and you can go back and be like, oh, this is why that happened. This is why they was acting like that. Yeah, because it's people that don't really like you. They really have no soul and you have a soul and a heart. Your heart is made of gold. So, but for my personal experience, I can say I most likely been gang stalked my whole life. And you probably have to. Um, when you were in school, if you were being bullied, picked on by anyone, you know, with fights, just walking down the street, you know, just chilling, having a good day, and somebody come up to you and want to fight you for no reason. You have people pick on you all the time about BS, people going out their way. To be mean to you for no reason. 
you have to look at stuff like that. Connect the dots. And know that. When you was in elementary, sitting down at the lunch table, that kid that was looking at you with that mean stare, he was gang stalking you. And you just have to realize that. So. And also with me too is. They didn't want me to find out. You know, because once you find out, then, you know, you gain that power. So that's why they try to leave you running in place for your whole life and to make you stay busy. So you never know. And you have to be reincarnated on this earth over and over. And you never go up into higher dimensions and planes and become your angel body. So that's what everybody, that's what's going on. You know, so you have to wake up and realize that shit before it's too late. You know, this is the final battle. And your soul is in this. And you have to lead with that. But with that being said, man, you are a gang star because you have like, you are an angel, a star seed. And you have to realize that you work for the creator. You know, there is a God, if you want to say that. But there are many gods and goddesses. You have to realize that. Do your research. Study. I'm not here to mislead you or to lie, to lead you down a rabbit hole to the point of no return. I want the truth just like you want the truth. But in order for everybody to help everyone, we have to come together and, you know, just rise against this and, you know, shed our light, positivity, you know, on this world because it's so dark right now. And we came back and woke up for a reason. Peace.